I got worms. <laughs> I'm trying to keep a straight face. All right, so we have this really cool suede chenille. Man, it's so small I can barely touch it. But we're gonna tie some worms out of it. It's really cool stuff. Okay, this stuff is really cool. This is suede chenille from Semperfly, and this is how I like to buy it. Let's see. Comes in all these colors, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a worm out of it and a jig hook, super easy. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna thread this through a bead before we put it on the hook. So what I like to do is I have this cautery tool and I just like to singe the end like that because it will turn it into a little point and that will also make your worm stay together better. I have a size 16 jig hook and I'm going to thread this through a little slotted bead. So I think if I put it through the slot side first, it actually threads through there quite easily. So I'll just kind of put that through, take the hook out. And then I'll just thread that on the bead just like I normally would. All right, this is easier said than done. There we go. All right, so do three or four of those. You'll find a system that works best for you. So here we have um, the chenille on a hook. I want it to be roughly about that long. So I'm just going to push all that back here. I'm going to take some orange thread. This is fluorescent orange Semperfly 12 odd, I believe. And if you if you're ever watching our videos and you can't find material lists, just click on the the description. We have a link that will take you not only to the materials for this fly, but for 30,000 items that we have in our fly shop. So if you spend all your uh, allowance, not our fault, but you're welcome. Anyway. I'm just going to tie this down, uh, create like a little orange band, and then just come underneath it. Let's see. Make sure that the slot is right under, kind of on the belly of this. Easier said than done again on this. But I'm just going to advance my thread back behind the bead now. And I'm going to build up a little highlight there too. So from here, I will just whip finish. I'm just going to use a hand whip finish here. And because I try to hand whip finish, this is actually a good lesson here. So I tried to hand whip finish, and as I was pulling it tight, it broke the thread because it twisted up my thread too much. So that's why I always like to use a tool when I can. So if, if this ever happens, it's a pretty simple fix. And the easiest way to do it, you take a little bit of super glue, and you're just going to paint this little tag. And since I have a rotary vise, I'm just going to rotary that right in there. If you really wanted to make sure it, it's stuck, you could put like some forceps and let it hang down here, but it's super glue. It's already set. All right. So now, you know, once you have the length, let's pull that up, trim it so it's equal. That's a pretty long worm. I'm actually going to trim it down, so I want it to be about like that. And then I'll just get my cautery tool again, and I'm going to singe that end, singe that end, and there you have a very functional suede worm.